To some local news tonight, wildfire season is quickly approaching, and every year the culprit behind some of the state's deadliest fires is electrical equipment. Our Carmela Karcher was out near Desert Hot Springs today where SoCal Edison is installing new equipment to keep local communities safe. She joins us in studio now with those details. Carmela? Olivia, according to CAL FIRE, outdated utility infrastructure has only been responsible for less than 10% of recorded wildfires. But these fires caused by power lines are about half of the most destructive wildfires in state history. So SCE is trying to change that stat for the better. In Northern California, the campfire in 2018, about 154,000 acres and 85 fatalities. A whole town was wiped off the face of the earth in a matter of eight hours. The Dixie Fire in 2021, nearly a million acres killing one firefighter. I went nine days without seeing blue sky or sunlight. And in Southern California, the Woolsey Fire in 2018, almost 100,000 acres and three deaths. And this was our dream house that we purchased about four years ago. And I wasn't going to let it go just uh, to walk away from it. The common link between the three, they were caused by an electrical issue. But now Southern California Edison is taking new steps to make sure these types of fires don't happen again. They are replacing uh, bare wire with covered conductor. Covered conductor is a really important tool for reducing the risk of wildfire. So this is part of SCE's wildfire mitigation work. According to SCE, these covered conductors help reduce the risk of fire between 75 to 80 percent. It's a very big number. In the event of a windy day, there's a lot of fuel that could be on the ground, a, a branch of a tree or something that could be blown up into the power lines. When those are covered conductor, then there is much less chance of a spark and a greatly reduced opportunity for a fire to get started. Also being installed, fire resistant power poles and cross arms, all being delivered by helicopter. There is an inaccessible place uh, against the, the hills behind us in the foothills of Mount San Gorgonio, and it's not reachable on paved roads. So SCE crews have used helicopters today to take personnel and materials in, and what they're going to be doing is putting up more robust power poles that will hold covered conductor which is replacing bare wire and covered conductor happens to be one of the most important tools we have to reduce the risk of a wildfire. And SCE isn't alone. PG&E in Northern California is also undergrounding 10,000 miles of lines in high risk areas, as well as installing these covered conductors in stronger power poles, all in an effort to prevent further damage to our Golden State. Live in studio, I'm Carmela Karcher. Back to you.